Today we're gonna add some grunge effects. What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and I'm a graphic designer and today I'm going to show you a quick tip that I use to create some grunge effects on my texts and designs. Let's get right into it. Alright, so as you can see on the screen right now, we have a small design. I made this using some text and icons from a pack of mine and essentially what I did was I added a nice small displacement map to it. This displacement map also comes from a package of mine called Filth and it's also the main base we're going to use today. But essentially, you can also do this yourself by just grabbing your camera, take a photo of anything that you can see outside and use that. If you want to learn more about displacement maps itself, I can redirect you to another video of mine where I explain this. But in this video, I'm going to focus more on the masking part. So as you can see on the screen, if we zoom in, the displacement map roughens up the edge a little bit. But for now, it doesn't really look like it's been destroyed. That's something that we're going to do with the brushes actually in Photoshop. So if you go to the bottom here and you click on mask, you'll add a layer mask. And if you don't know what this does, essentially, if you grab your brush, I'll just grab a normal brush for now. Wherever I will paint black, the layer will become invisible. And you can really see that once we hold Alt or Option on our keyboard and click on the layer mask in the layer menu. This is essentially what we drew here and this is how it's going to turn out. Let me just Ctrl Z that real quick because we're going to use something different here. We're actually going to create a brush from a texture. So this is the base picture that we use today. Essentially what we're going to do is put a threshold effect over it like this. This will make it so that your brush is only black and white. Now you can right click, flatten the image, then you can go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. And you can just call this whatever. And now we basically have a brush that will destroy your texture. As you can see, this doesn't really do the trick. The key here is what happens is basically you're just painting in your texture right here. So let me just come on, see that real quick. So the first time you want to do this, you can actually scale your brush down so that it matches the, or almost matches the whole canvas here. So like this, for example. Now what we can do is just click once. And then we're going to press X on our keyboard because that will switch up the brush color to from black to white. And then we'll press X again and then click again. I'm going to do this a couple of more random times in order to create some randomness here. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the result here, but I want to still make this completely black. So the way we're going to do this is basically use the levels adjustment. I can get to that by going to image, adjustments, levels. And now basically we want to crunch the left and the right here until our logo is almost black and you're satisfied with the amount of holes and like little destruction uh, here. So if I bring in this one more, you can see that the holes will become bigger. And if I bring in this more, you will see that they will become smaller. So it's up to you to define whatever it is that you want from your design. I think I'll leave mine at here because you can still read the text and you can see some of the icons still. All right, so if you don't want to go through all of the hassle of creating these brushes yourself, photographing those textures and defining them as a brush, you can actually get the filth pack on my web store down below, as well as the icons used in this design. There will be a link down in the description. If this tutorial was helpful to you, please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and please consider becoming one of my patrons because thanks to my patrons I'm actually able to keep creating weekly videos for you guys because they allow me to do dreadlifts full time. If you become a patron of mine you'll get access to all of the project files from all of my tutorials which is over 100, a 15% discount in my asset web store where you can get the brush pack and the icon pack that I just mentioned as well as an exclusive discord community role. And if you go one tier up you'll also get access to exclusive videos such as how to start your own clothing brand, how to make death metal logos from scratch as well as how to start your career in illustrator. So if you want to become a patron there's a link down in the description once again a huge shout out to all of my patrons thank you so much because you really really help out and with all of that being said this is tom from dreadlabs tuning out thank you so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you guys in the next video